what's on my mind. Hey y'all, it's Amanda, y'all already know, okay? First of all, happy freaking Mother's Day. And I'm pretty sure by the time I upload this, because it's so late, it will not be Mother's Day anymore, but just know I said it, okay? Happy Mother's Day to all of my beautiful mothers out there. I hope you enjoyed your day and took time for yourself. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, I wanted to go ahead and share a Target haul with you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to go ahead and share uh, what I got from Target with you all because I had to go out. Y'all, these kids go through tissue like it's nothing and paper towels, ugh, non-existent, okay? So anyway, and as you guys know, I normally order from Target and have them bring it out to me, especially nowadays, but they're not doing tissue and um, paper towels that way, so I have to go in. But anyway, and I'm not going to Walmart. That is a no-no, okay? <laughs> My anxiety flares up too bad. So anyway, I wanted to share with you what I got. Since I was in there already, I figured I needed to just kind of go in and re-up on some skincare products and just try some new items because I've been slacking, okay? So anyway, first off, one thing I had to stick to was my um, eczema cream from uh, Cortisone 10. I have been, I don't know what is going on lately, but my eczema has went, I mean, it's gone crazy on me. Like on my elbows and stuff. I've never had eczema other than like in my face or whatever, but now it's on my arms. And it's just, it's terrible, okay? It's killing me, all right? But, so I got to get that under control. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's because I've been in the house, environment change or something. I don't know, but yeah. So anyway, I had to pick up the um, eczema cream from Cortisone 10. Then, I had to, um, y'all know we have to groom ourselves. That's just what it is, okay? So I know my eyebrows, and which I just did on today with the last razor that I had. But I had to pick up some more. So while I was there, I picked up these um, eyebrow shapers from Ardell. I didn't know Ardell had eyebrow shapers, but I guess it makes sense. They do lashes, so kind of the same thing. But anyway, I went ahead and picked up some more. So uh, I'm not really sure how to use the Ardell ones because, hey, they look, they look weird to me. So I'm not really sure. I'm used to the ones that are like straight up and down and just kind of slide it across. So I have to figure these out before I end up with no brows. Just saying. All right, so the next thing moving on, which I actually just used um, this, but I needed some more mascara. The last mascara I bought was like six months ago because I haven't been wearing it. But um, I went back to an oldie but goodie, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous. You guys know this used to be OG, okay? So I went back to this and I got black is black. So hopefully the formula is still the same and it still works as well as it did before, okay? So I picked that up to throw in my purse. All right, so I'm just grabbing from the bag. So the next thing that I have is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Pre-Shampoo Scalp Scrub. Like, I, how do you expect us to do all this? Like, this is just too much. It's for the it's for the exfoliate and soothe dry and oily scalp. Now, I have dry scalp, and I've shared that with you guys before. I have extremely dry scalp. Like I said, I have eczema, so it's just, it's really bad, okay? And uh, so I have to wash my hair, and normally as soon as I wash my hair, a day later it's itching again, and it just feels like I never wash my hair. So I'm thinking what it is is I didn't, I wasn't able to get my scalp as clean as I would like to. So I figured I would try this out right here, and this is what it looks like. So it has like a little scrub brush on the end of it, and y'all, I've been messing with it, so I kind of squeezed some of it out. Things on there, so I kind of like that already, so I can get in and get in and feel you fit in, and just kind of. You know, like, oh, I'm ready. Like, my head itching right now. I know I need to wash my hair. Okay, so anyway, I definitely picked this up. I hope it works really well. Uh, somebody, I'm trying to think of who it was I was watching. They were, I didn't know something like this existed, honest, honestly. But I was watching somebody, I think it may have been Tiara, Tiara Walker. Or I think, I can't remember what her name is. Um, but anyway, she was, she picked up the one from Taraji P. Henson and no shade, no nothing. I'm as blunt as I can be, but I heard that that line was shit crap. Like, I, that's just what I heard. I'm just saying. And I did go on Target and smell it and I can't do it. It smells like an old lady. Like, no offense, but I mean, it smells like 
Geritol or something. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's it's a bad bad smell. Like it just it smell like white diamonds. Okay, but anyway, so um, someone mentioned in under her video in the comments that they liked this particular one from Shea Moisture. I've never had any issues with them, so I picked this one up. All right, so moving along, um, I definitely wanted to pick this up after I saw an Instagram video of a girl using it. So it's by um, Lip Bar, and I saw them in Target when it first came out. I saw this company in there, but I wasn't interested in lip products. So now it looks like they have something called Fast Face by Lip Bar, so I'm assuming they're in the face area now. Uh, but I saw a girl on Instagram using this, and she swiped it across her hand. It was actually a gold one. But I'm into like the rose gold colors. So I was like, okay, since I'm in here, let me go ahead and swipe one. And this was the last one. And this one is called It Girl. So it was the last one of this color. But they do have like a bronze color. And then they have a gold color and like pink and purples and stuff. But I was interested in this particular one. So let me go ahead and swipe this one for you guys. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. But I was amazed by... um That's what it looks like so yeah I was super amazed by what this looks like so I'm um, definitely looking forward to continuously using that and I already used it for this look that I have now and then here is the skincare stuff that I decided to pick up so this one is by and I already opened this one up but this one is by elf you guys can see and it is called All the Fields Facial Oil and Hemp Deprived Cannabis Sativa. I guess I'm saying that right. Nourishing Facial Oil. So, yeah. And it's 1.1.01 fluid ounce. So, 30 milliliters. And um, I figured I needed to kind of get step up, you know, the my skincare routine as far as needing like an oil in my routine. Because I have, my skin has gotten really dry, like again, eczema but it's really dry usually it's on more on the oilier side it has been previously but now it's back on the dry side so i figured i needed to throw in an oil in my regimen just to kind of you know build up that moisture so anyway this is what it looks like in the bottle and i'm not really usually big on purchasing items like the cannabis whole line like i never really fell for that kind of thing but hey if it works it works so it's a pretty color i love the color it has a huge dropper like seriously you guys can see that like that's really huge so yeah it says it's lightweight nourishing facial oil that conditions and replenishes the skin so I'm trying to see let me see it doesn't really have a smell to it um, it's a light scent but it doesn't smell like anything in particular so anyway that's what that looks like and this was $12 I think which I'm not used to paying that much for elf products so I don't know, but I did notice that their products have gone up, like, including the price of their brushes and stuff. So, maybe it's just me, but it's been a minute, okay? Been a minute. All right, so, as far as, um, I was using the cleanser, the micellar water uh, cleanser for my face for a while. I've been using that for well over a year now, and I don't think that it's really doing much for me anymore. So, I decided to pick up something else, and I saw the Bliss brand actually had um, a cleanser. And I never really used the Bliss brand until I was at a hotel and they actually had uh, like the stuff in the shower for the Bliss brand, which was, you know, shower products. And I was like, cool. I used them. I loved them. So I figured why not try the face product? So I did see that they had a line and I decided to pick up this one. Now, the reason I did this, they had a rose gold one as well. But I picked this one up because it says wet, dry, gentle jelly cleanser. So the wet dry got me and then the jelly got me, okay? So I feel like the jelly would feel really cooling and stuff on my face. And then the wet dry because it's a makeup remover as well as a cleanser. So on the back it says to remove makeup and cleanse, you can massage onto dry skin with a cotton pad, including over the eyes and then add water and rinse. Now, just for cleansing only, you can massage onto wet skin and then rinse. So I thought this would be neat to have as a like a two-in-one type of thing. Instead of having to, you know, carry two things with you if you happen to go somewhere. So anyway, I decided to pick up the Bliss one. And then it only had one left. So the Rose Gold had like five left. But this one was only one left. So I figured it must be good, right? So anyway, but yeah, I picked up this one right here. It is kind of small, but you know, hey, it's 6.4 fluid ounces. So yeah, that's that. 
All right, but what I did pick up from the rose gold part of it was the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toner Mist for Sensitive Skin. So I picked this one up simply because I need another toner. The toner that I have, I picked up, I was using a, a Witch Hazel and um, I ran out and then I went and got another brand. What is, What brand is that? I'm trying to think of what brand is it has a red top on it but I can't think of it offhand because I've never really used it but I bought the um the pads the you know the toner pads and when I wipe my face with it burned me so bad and I'm like oh no not gonna do that ever again so uh, and then my face my face was peeling afterwards so I figured I should get one for sensitive skin and then I like the fact that this one is a mist so I can just kind of spray it over and go on about my business but um, apparently you use this one. It says it's created for sensitive skin. Um, it's a toner, finer, fine toner mist infused with common rose water and gold. Soothes and refreshes, be, rebalances glowing complexion. Um, it says after cleansing and before moisturizing. So, yeah. So anyway, I hope this works for me and um, we shall see. Let me know if you want me to come back uh, with a video, you guys, of how these products are working once I try them out. And it'll probably be in a favorites because I need to get back in the groove of things because like I'm lost when it comes to doing videos you guys I'm just I'm all over the place so yeah but anyway so I definitely always look for something for my eyes because y'all when I get tired these mugs get puffy okay like I'm carrying Chanel bags up under here okay just saying so I figured I would try a mask um, well like something like a cream to go under my eyes and I saw this particular brand I've never heard of it before and it's called Versed. I think that's how you say it. And honestly, it shouldn't be no other way. But anyway, it's called Versed. And it had three different eye masks. But this one here appealed to me the most. Um, and it's called, maybe because it says vacation. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, it's Vacationized Brightening Eye Gel. And it has vitamin C and ginseng root extract. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And it's a beautiful yellow color. It says, use me if you and your eyes can use a vacation. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, lightweight gel, perfect under makeup with a stable form of vitamin C made for that pesky, shadowy under eye area. That would be me. Um, and it just says gently tap a teeny, a teeny tiny dot around the eyes and above the temples. AM and PM after cleanser and serum, but before moisturizer. So, yeah, hopefully you know this this works for you, girl. So I'm definitely gonna try it out, and it says it's made for dullness. So. I definitely want to try that out and give my skin a pick me up because it's been going through the ringer girl like through the ringer okay through the ringer so anyway I hope it made me a little tropical drink okay so anyway that is all that I already got from Target so I appreciate you guys watching I will come to you with another haul of some items that I ordered while in the home um, I did order some products from like Amazon and Farsali and um, some little bum bum stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's all for right now. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you later.